So, I've been um, involved or caught up and I'm interested in all these IR35 regulations that are going to be in place in uh, the first week of April. So I used to be freelance for about 17 years. And then I saw all this taxman clamping down on different bits uh, and I saw that it was only going to be more so and um, so I transitioned moved to being perm but it sucks um, I don't know if anybody's ever done it but you move from being a subject matter expert, bought on boards, fix stuff, to being in the playground with a load of politics. Um, and it's difficult. It's difficult for me. I'm not very good at playing the game. Um, not very good at playing the game. And I like doing what I like, I like the field that I work in. Um, so, but, so, yeah, in an ideal world, I'd still be freelancing. Lots of people are just, uh, lots of organisations like uh, the big banks of HSBC, Lloyds and etc. Uh, and that's are just not taking contractors anymore, or at the moment. Um, and that's because they would be, they would have to incur, um, I think it's national insurance. For each of those staff, if you've got hundreds or thousands of contractors, then that that, ma that mounts up to a big amount. Um, so they're just not. So meaning that March, April time, um, it's going to be a bloodbath. So everyone's going to be there's going to be a load of people in the market, um, all fighting to go perm or all fighting over what's left of those companies that decide that they still will have contractors because we need uh, a flexible workforce you know, especially with Brexit and God knows whatever else we need it but so I'm going to stay put uh, where I am but it just meant that I've had to fire some guys that were really that I'm really happy with um, and, they, and even if they were to move to Perm it would mean that they still get stiffed by senior taxman let me know if you've uh, if you know more about it or if you've been involved um, with your thoughts on it Get rid of a whole, get rid of a whole scalable economy. Crazy. Anyway. I'm going to try and uh, unwind from that and also the general shittery of work which this Grom helps me to do riding motorbikes is fucking great unlike that fucking guy as a parent run across the road with your fucking kid yeah, just take a chance. Don't cross that crossing, you fucking mom. Fuck's 
me off. You're gonna gain a few seconds and put your kid's life in danger. Fucking villain.